Hi everyone, Anne from Imaginative Libraries here with another At Home with Imaginative Storytime. Today we're going to go to Tape Town. That's when I make roads with tape on the floor and drive on them with my own little cars. I build buildings for my town too. I'm going to read a few books and then I'll show you my Tape Town. We can practice a Tape Town search and rescue and I'll show you a cool shirt that would fit right into your own Tape Town if you decide to make one at home. My first book is actually called a cautionary tale. This means it's supposed to teach a lesson along with the story. In addition to the cautionary tale, it also has some repeated words that it would be great for you to try and recognize when they come up. So you can read them too. The words are... Everyone shout, look out, look out. And then there's sort of an accident. And the words are... Skid, screech, bam. So see if you can find those words and read them along with me while we read our first book. Toad on the Road by Stephen Shaskin, a cautionary tale. Toad on the road, toad on the road. Oh no, oh no, there's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? Oh yikes, oh yikes, it's a bear on a bike. Everyone shout, look out, look out. Skid, screech, bam. Hey, little toad, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. Vamoose, skedaddle, without delay. What do you think your mama would say? Toad on the road, toad on the road. Oh, no, oh, no, there's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? My stars, my stars, it's a... Croc in a car. Everyone shout, look out, look out. Skid, screech, bam. Hey, little toad, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. That moose, skid daddle without delay. What do you think your mama would say? Toad on the road, toad on the road. Oh no, oh no, there's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? Oh man, oh man, it's a vole in a van. Everyone shout, look out, look out. Skid, screech, bam. Hey, little toad, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. That moose, skedaddle, without delay. What do you think your mama would say? Toad on the road, toad on the road. Oh, no, oh, no, there's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? Good luck, good luck. It's a toad in a truck. And what does she say? Hey, little love, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. Vamoose, skedaddle without delay. This is Mama Toad's towing. And that is what your mama would say. Look, they got the bike in the convertible behind the van, all going to get towed by Mom and Toad's towing company. Oh, 
the end. <laughs> what did you think? Did you get the message the cautionary tale was trying to tell you? Was it don't try to eat flies? Was it don't try to eat flies in the road? Or was it don't sit in the road? My next book is called Vroom. And it features a little girl with a silver car that she loves to drive. And here is a picture of the author. It's Barbara McClintock. She's standing next to her race car today. She says that when she was a little girl, she had a silver car just like the one in the book that she loved to drive. See if you like it too. Vroom by Barbara McClintock. One evening, Annie puts on her helmet. And her gloves and hopped into her car. And took off. It was a fine evening for a drive. The road was straight and flat. Until she reached the mountains, where it was cold on top. But the desert was hot and dry. Annie drove through a cool, damp forest. See the desert in her rear view mirror? <laughs> oh, and I can see what's coming up ahead. Over a wide river. And into a city. There were lots of people. and lots of traffic. Annie drove fast. And faster. Wow. After driving so fast, she was getting a little tired. But soon, she came to a familiar road that led to a familiar house and she drove up a familiar set of stairs boom, 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 and through a familiar room and then erk, Annie applied her brakes. Tomorrow would be another fine day for a drive. end. Maybe some of the places that Annie drove will be places that you'll want to make for your own Tape Town. I'm going to show you the Tape Town I made in my house, but first I want to give parents a couple more ideas to go along with this theme. One of them is called Tape Town Small Toy Search and Rescue. You see that guy in there? In the car? Parents take small toys and tape them with painter's tape around the house and kids try to find and rescue them. Ooh, it's good for fine motor skills and it might buy you enough time to sit and have a cup of coffee. I say painter's tape so it won't damage the surfaces and because it's easier on little fingers, but you can use your judgment in this case and see if rescue training needs to get more difficult. Use stronger tape. Another fun idea I've seen is to make a road shirt. I could see wearing this and then taking a snooze right in the middle of Tape Town. I'll put the link to where this photo came from in the description of the video. It's got templates to help you make the shirt. Okay, now for a quick drive through of my Tape Town. When we do Tape Town at the library, it is so fun to see the kids driving up and down the aisles of books and up hills they make from the stairs, the couches, the ball runs and just in general all over the library. 
it is great to add small street signs for early readers since so many of them already know how to read a stop sign or other street signs and building signs. And who doesn't love a car wash? I hope you enjoy these silly ideas for play. Play is one of the five early literacy building blocks that you'll hear us talk about at the library again and again. They are read, write, sing, talk, play. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Don't worry, sir. We've trained for this. Officer Gloria, get me some ropes.